What up, people? It's Boy Master Chudy out here with another comic review. So we got um, Mace Windu, Jedi of the Republic number three. I got four, but I never reviewed this, so I wanted to get in and uh, get on the train and review this. Mace Windu, one of my favorite Jedi, and his story has been pretty good. The art, the cover art has always been fantastic. You know, you just see him, Mace, on the ground trying to get his lightsaber, and you have the um, his main antagonist, this mercenary droid ADD4, I believe that's his name. And he goes in. So, let's get started. So basically, the mission, the summary is that Mace Windu brings a, um, a team of Jedi um, with him to stop the Separatists from investigating um, activity on the planet. To basically investigate Separatist activity in the, on the remote planet of Hisrik. ADW4, that's his name. And then, of course, they meet the mercenary and that's what's happened. So we got Matt Owens on the as a writer. He's been doing pretty good. Dennis Cohen. As an author, Roberto Poggi, the inker. Guru F E F X is the color artist. Um, Jesus Saez is the cover artist. Very good. Pretty much. Uh, VCs Joe Caramanga is the letter editor. And then we have um, Heather Antos, of course, and uh, Charles Beecham, the assistant editor. It's Jordan D. White is the editor. And C.B. Sobolski is the executive editor. So that's something good. Of course, Axel Alonso is gone. But let's get into it. So there's some time ago, we see General Grievous, you know, walk into a bazaar, he's here to meet his contact, and he's saying that you should consider it an honor that I'm meeting with you at all, and he's like, time is money, Grievous, so we have ADW4, it's like, it'd be a shame for you to waste any more, it's like, General Grievous, it's like, not to me, do not confuse me with one of your mass-produced fall in line, fall in line, a 37% kill rate at best military drones, that's not what I am. That's not what you, that's not why you're here. In less respectful terms than I would have put it, but yes, the Confederacy of Independent System has need of your highly regarded services. Your crusade for autonomy is not the reason I sit before you. More money down the compactor. Then allow me to get to the point. He's like, fine. It's like, oh, there's a planet on the outer rim, Hisrik, which of particular interest to our endeavors. We are sending units for harvest for harvesting this thing. We would like you to oversee it. And he's like, oh, Osmo Che was an ambitious upstart spy smuggler on Mount Gaza. He had a quick ship, a lethal crew, and an infectious smile. Unfortunately for Osmo, there was already a reigning drug kingdom by the name of Ravi. And when Ravi got wind of Osmo's operation, he put a bounty on his head. That army could pay for its own clone army. When I went to Ravi to offer to relieve him of his new rival, he told me this bounty, copious as it was, is a drop in the bucket of his wealth. If I killed Osmo, I would have well I would have well paying jobs in Ravi's employ for life. Ravi cried, oh how he cried when I gutted him like a Ferella fish, and then painted the interior of his garish palace red with the blood of his guards before Taking his son all myself, and you want to hire me to farm? <laughs> so he's like, I've been doing all this dangerous ish, man, and you want me to farm? You want me to farm stuff? It's like, of course, n of course not. Your mastery of killing is only matched by your apparent flair for dramatic. We have use for the former. It's like, our reports indicate that the that the Republic may become aware of the military maneuver. We aren't expecting much. Full case. However, we must be prepared for annoyances. More self-righteous nature. He's like Jedi. I do wish I were able to oversee the undertaking, but when you are in charge of an entire army, sometimes enjoyment must be set aside. Here's the data on some high priority targets you may encounter. And so I say clones, droids, Jedi's, mo no problems, only increasing credit amounts. Jedi aren't cheap. I hope you aren't either. And it's like the last page of the report is what we're offering to pay you. Half up front, half upon completion. I'm confident you will find the amount satisfactory. He's like, Oh, oh dang man, those are some serious. When do I leave? So yeah, that was a bit of a soliloquy, but it sets up. And now back to the action. Mace and um Mace and Rissa, his the young new Jedi Knight are busy fighting a separatist droid, so they're busy defecting. Um, they're busy like this way ahead of you, it's like we have to basically escape out of here and take these droids out. So Rissa uses the force, pushes them away, tosses her lightsaber, Mace catches it, boom. He's ready to go. He's got two of his lightsabers. He takes down the opposition. Wham! Look at that. Dude. And then it's like, hold it right there. 
Hold it right there, Jedi. And then she uses actually a blaster, and you know, not the best way, but it's like saying, it's like blasters are not really my style, then allow me to return your true weapon to you. And of course, she names her lightsaber Marcy. And it's like many more harvesters are stalking the planet, and a few are merely punching out water. And she's like kicking water's butt. It's like it's not enough, a more sweeping course of action is needed. And it's like we should check on Master Fisto and uh, Master Dibs. And it's like Master Fisto and Dibs can take care of themselves, basically. So they were in a cave in. It's like, Master Fisto, are you alright? I'm fine. I can't see a thing. It's like, what was my plight? The rocks may crush my body, but they can't crush your sense of humor. It's like, that's better. It's like, if you say so. So they light up their lightsabers and they need to find a way to get back to the surface. But of course, before they, um, as they're trying to leave, they see this huge creature coming. It's like a Milodon. Never before have I hated to be so right. And of course they begin attacking the beast. Until they take it down. They keep going, basically. And so, they're fighting the beast, basically. But then we go back to General Grievous, like, A.D. How fair is the operation on Hisrick? The first wave of harvesters have already returned from their sectors. Once they've unloaded, they will redeploy. Immediately, rinse and repeat until the planet is stripped bare. It's like a most satisfactory report by Soldier Fortune. Emphasis on fortune. I am not your soldier, basically. Things are progressing smoothly without a hitch, which bores me. It's like I wish I could sympathize with you, but my level of interest in your sex are diametrically opposed. And it's like, how are you finding the assistance of the droid battalion? Have they quelled your superiority complex pro-memory? And we just see, like, you just, General Grievous. Their battle process is laughable. Well, their banter is yeah, so like, hey, then, then the poor George, oh, he's so mean to us. Then even then, you, General, all he wanted to do is give him a call, and he just like, shut up, man. Take this blaster. So like, they do have to make good blaster fodder. It's like, indeed, and have any and have any fallen by hands, not of your own. It's like, what are the Jedi? And he's like, oh, Mace Windu's dead. What? It's like, how? How do you think? You shouldn't be surprised. Had you no faith in your investment? I hired you because I was unable to be there to claim that trophy for myself. Do not let this go to your head. I bested one of the fiercest warriors in the galaxy. My my price point just skyrocketed. It's like, oh, uh, nah. It's like, nah, bro. Bring me the lightsabers of Mace Windu and the other fallen Jedi, and you will be paid your due. Surely this is within your reason for your point price. And he just leaves. And it's like, uh, we don't have any Jedi lightsabers. It's like, wrong answer. <laughs> it shoots him down. Meanwhile... Um, Mace Windu and Rissa take down some patrols, and they realize that they're mobilizing to take them down. So we see that, um, it's like, even if the operation is proving successful so far, they will want to be rid of us, so they're here to take them out, to make sure there are no more interruptions. And we see that they discover a lot of droids on their scouting patrol, and they're all out for them. It's like, it's like... Do we move in and strike while no one's home? Like, not yet. We need a full strength tactical strike. We don't move without our whole unit attack. Something about this plan sounds familiar. Say, like, careful, young one. We don't have a plan yet. We regroup, then plan, then saving the day. And he's like, for now, we return to the ship. Masters Fisto and Dibs are wise tacticians. They'll know what to do, and they'll head to regroup. And like, okay, I'll make tea. So meanwhile, they're cutting their way to this beast. That's pretty good. It's like, this creature must have not expected such a well-armed prey. It's like, I fear for the indigenous people. And he's like, we should move forward. It's like, we should begin for that. It's like, he's not feeling um, any life, basically. It's like, they... And then we see that, um... That uh, he's... He begins to sense something, and it's like, Proset. Proset and Kit Fisto. And then he's like, no. And then you just see the indigenous population all murdered. And he's like... Proset is, ju um, Pro is just a uh, heartbroken like all this death. We were supposed to protect them. This is not how it should have happened. It's like we did what we did. We did what we we did what we could. Proset, we can still honor. It's like honor them. They should not have been put in this situation in the first place. Conflict extended its malevolent tendrils to a planet that had nothing to do with this war, and these people have paid the ultimate price for it. How is this us keeping the peace? How is the Jedi fulfilling their duty? Mm. Now that's what I like about the Clone Wars. Conflict about what the Jedi should and should not do. That's like, there are always casualties in war. It is unfortunate reality. Let us rejoin Mace and Rissa. We can prevent any further loss. That, Master Fristo, is the most humorous thing I heard either of us say all day. So it's like, no, I don't believe it. 
So meanwhile, AD is like, okay, the Clank Sector's clear, no Jedi here as well. Why is just parameters they're out here somewhere and say, look, they're back. And we just see Mason is like, glad to have seen you both. It's like, not without trouble. Us as well. We have much to discuss. Rissa and I have located the enemy's stronghold. And, um, we see that Proset just comes up like, you knew. Of course you knew. Proset, it seems you have something on your mind I should hear out. It's like, you lied to us from the outset. The Council had no idea such a valuable energy source existed. You insult our intelligence and integrity. And then, um, this is like, Master Dimso, what are you saying? Of course the Council didn't know about it. We're here to stop the Separatists. So naive, young Jedi. Wake up, girl. The Council is using you. You're a pawn, no more than a clone in Jedi attire. Oh. Like, I've never agreed with the Jedi role in this war. I never aligned my views on the Doctrine, and now I understand why I was so ill at ease. The Council hides behind... It's like, hides upon the veil of war, false purpose, but we are here for the very same reason as the Confederacy, a power grab, a way to win a war we have no reason to be in, to advance the Council's own twisted agenda under the guise of doing what is right. Oh, nice. Coming to this planet, tossing away the lives of its people as collateral damage. You are no better than the Separatists, and you are no different than the Sep... You are no different... You are no different from the consul The... Oh my gosh. Ah. You are no better than the Separatists, and you are no different than the Separatists. Corruption is calling is, is the calling card. Death is the legacy. You fight for peace? You fight for the galaxy? No, you fight for yourself. You have perverted the very teachings of the Jedi Order. Oh. He's out here giving it to Mace. And Mace is like, bruh, please. He's like, you finished? Bam! And you just see Master Dibs pro set just punch Mace. Like, oh, you deny, you, do you deny my accusations then? I do not even entertain them. You are frustrated. We all are. But I advise you to remember your place. I am not just a member of the Jedi Council. I am your general in battle. Your mockery is further evidence that you have no place as a leader in any capacity. So we just see. I will put an end to your deceptions. And we just see Proset reveal his lightsaber. And we just see Rissa's like, this is insane. It's like, mm, okay, first it's like, calm down. We gotta let them handle this. And Mace is like, I have failed you. Pro said, I was to be your shepherd, and you strayed too far from the path. All of these bold accusations, all of these grand inquisitions, if you think you know better than I what is good for the Jedi, what is good for the galaxy, then come and test your resolve against mine. Let us see, let us find out who is right. Then the next cover, which I do have. So, I like, I, I like this book. I like the, you know the Star Wars accent. People don't like the prequels. The prequels were added a little bit more depth to it. Yeah, I like the prequels. I like the original trilogy and, you know, the the, the Star Wars uh, Force Awakening was there. Eh, but, you know, I like it for what it is. This is a good comic. I do have part four. That'll come up maybe later. But once again, thank you all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notifications. Make sure that you're subscribed and make sure you're notified. Once again, I do these reviews for you, the people, because I want to discuss good comics and get them out here. Thank you all for watching, and I shall have another video up later tonight.